yourself set up in a nice comfortable seat, nice and tall through the spine. You can have your legs crossed or not, it's totally up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. Loop those shoulders up to your ears and back and down your spine, pulling those shoulder blades into the center line. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, close your eyes. Let's focus on that breath. Turn our thoughts inward and just slow it down. Get out of that work, 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 as Rhonda was saying. And just move into relaxing and stretching and getting it all out on the mat. Focus on that breath. If you'd like to feel a little more grounded, you can keep your palms down onto your knees. If you need a little more energy, you can open your palms up to the ceiling. Just focus on how that breath feels as it enters into the body. Breathing through your nose down the back of your throat, into your lungs, expanding your ribcage, and permeating through your entire bloodstream into your muscles, helping you relax even further. And again, if your thoughts are just real wild right now, you can start to just count your breath. One on the inhale, Two on the exhale, three, four, and keep that going until you get to ten. That's when you start again. If you choose to focus on the breath versus focusing on the thoughts, then you're choosing to remain calmer within the body, right? And again, we have that choice. We always have the choice in every single thing that we do, whether it's our thoughts, our words, our actions, we choose, right? So I hope you guys are making the best of your time, whether you're still working or you're at home. But if you're finding you're getting into a place of stagnation <laughs> you're just like I don't even know what to do anymore you know a few things you can do first of all is remember that we all have the same amount of time in a day and it's how we choose to use those minutes those hours to be productive or not right so you can choose to sit around and be lazy and scroll through your phone or your computer or watch every single thing on Netflix and Hulu and all the streaming things or you can choose to you know, give yourself an hour of screen time and then make a list of all the things that you've been wanting to do at home and just start doing one thing at a time. And you'll find that the more you choose to accomplish all of these things that you've been putting off, you're going to have a little bit more self-worth and you're gonna have a little more drive and you're not gonna feel so like blah, like at the end of the day, right? So again, we always have that choice. We all have the same amount of minutes in a day, hours in a day, and it's how we choose to use those, whether you're really working hard or not. So with that, take one more really big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands down to your hips. Inhale, open those eyes, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Palms together, big stretch here. Exhale, float your hands down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, floating them down. One more time. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, twist to the left. Bring that left hand back behind, right hand on top of your left knee. Look over that left shoulder here. <clears throat> Open up your jaw just slightly so you can release through your neck muscles. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. And even as we move through these poses and we focus on our breath, you can start to create a little list in your head of how you want the rest of the night to go, what you want tomorrow to look like, right? Or when we finish yoga, 
Just take five minutes and make a list of everything that you want to accomplish tomorrow. One more big inhale in and out. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up and overhead. Big stretch. Exhale, twist to the right. Right arm behind you, connecting to the floor. Catch that left arm to the right knee. Look over that shoulder. Big inhale in and out. Harming your lips just slightly, opening up that jaw, releasing your neck. And just focus on that breath. Focus on the weight of your body pressing into the ground. And just be present. <clears throat> One more big inhale in. And out. Inhales. Bring your arms all the way up and overhead. Take that right hand to your left wrist. Go ahead and lean it over to the right. Turn your chest towards the ceiling. Look under that left bicep. Get a nice big stretch in your side here. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale all the way back up. We're going to switch sides. Take that left hand to the right wrist. Lengthen up. Lean it over to the left. Twist your heart to the sky. Always focus on that breath through every single position here. One more big inhale in. And out. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale, just drop your hands down in front of you. Point your fingers to the screen, palms together. Inhale, send that right hand to the back wall. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, left hand back. Exhale, forward. Keep it going, in and out. Inhale, exhale. We'll do two more each side. Connecting with that breath through every single movement. Great job. You can go ahead and release that left hand down. We're going to take the right hand across our chest. Bring that left hand to catch your right forearm. Look over your right shoulder here. Again, we're sitting up nice and tall. Make sure you drop that right shoulder down away from your chin. Really lengthen through that right arm. Pulling it in towards your chest, getting a nice stretch in your shoulder here. One more big breath in. And out. Inhale, switch arms. Sweep that left arm across your chest. Tuck that shoulder down your spine. Look over your left shoulder here. Really pull it in towards your body, getting that nice stretch. One more breath here. Okay, go ahead and just release your hands down. We're going to focus on our neck for a second. So inhale, take your nose over to the right, up to the sky, down over to the left, like we're drawing a giant circle. Keep that going. Think inhale as you move to the top, and exhale as you lower it down. Let your nose be the guide here. And now we're drawing a really big circle. And I want you to go into more of a medium circle. This is going to help engage all of the small muscles through our neck here. And then down into a little small circle. And then we're going to reverse, staying with that small circle for a few rounds, and then opening up to that medium circle, and finally all the way up to that big circle. Connecting to your breath as you move. Inhale all the way back to center, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, release that right ear to your right shoulder. 
You can stay right here if this is enough of a stretch for you through that neck. You can bring your left hand underneath of your thigh, getting a little extra little pull here, a nicer stretch. Or you can take that right hand up and over, catching the, just above your left ear. Just let the weight of your arm help stretch those muscles. Don't tug, don't pull. We don't want to have any straining here. Focus on your breath. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. You don't want to round in your spine here. And then next inhale, go ahead and release. Rock your head left and right. Untuck that left hand if you had it under your thigh. Inhale all the way back up to center. Exhale, release that left ear to the left shoulder this time. And again, you can choose to tuck that right hand under your thigh, bring that left hand up and over to catch just above your right ear. Focus on your breath here. And don't do anything that's gonna cause any straining. One more breath here. Great. Go ahead and release your hands, rock your head left and right, bring your head over your shoulders, and an extra little stretch in the side of your neck. Inhale back to center, sitting up nice and tall, and we're going to make our way onto our tabletop position, bringing your knees right underneath of your shoulders, I mean knees under your hips. <laughs> and your wrists right under your shoulders. Go ahead and turn your hands externally towards the edge of the mat, pointing those fingertips towards your knees here. Get your palms nice and flat. You can walk your knees in a little closer if you need to. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, sink your hips back until you can feel a nice stretch here through your forearms. Focus on your breath here, inhaling in. Exhale, dropping those shoulders down away from your ears. Just breathe. You might feel a little burning through your wrist here. Once we get moving, it won't last for long. This is really great for counteracting kind of our day-to-day -day motion if you're still, you know, working really hard at your computer and typing and all that or you're turning your hand inward to hold your phone whatever it may be those are all uh, things that can head you towards carpal tunnel we don't want that so we actively choose to do the opposite choose to help our body out one more big inhale in and exhale inhale lean back onto your heels Pull your fingers and hands off your mat and just spin through your wrists for a second. One way and then the other, just to get a little more flexion in here so you can point your fingers towards the mat, pull them towards your face. Do that a few times. Shift your hands left and right. And then we're ready. We're gonna go back into that position, but this time we're gonna take the top side of our hand we're gonna bring that down. And again, you can keep it pretty close to your knees. I've got about an inch gap from fingertip to knee. So bring the palms down, spread your fingers nice and wide. Take a big inhale and look forward. Exhale, sink it back. You might not be able to go nearly as far. You're gonna feel it in the top part of your forearm now. Try to keep your hand, the top side of your hand, down on the mat. And if you want, you can get a slight bend at that elbow and you'll really focus it into the forearm. Inhaling in, focusing on that breath. Exhale, dropping those shoulders down away from your ears. We'll stay here for three more breath cycles. Last one. Again, roll through, getting some flexion, pulling your fingertips towards the sky, towards the ground. We're spinning through your wrists here. 
can use one hand to kind of move the other in one direction and the other. And then when you're ready, we'll come back into our tabletop position. It's okay if you feel a little bit of pressure here. We're not gonna stay here long, but once we get our uh, blood flowing, you won't even notice it anymore. So again, bring your knees right under your hips, wrists under your shoulders. Take a big inhale and look forward. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, drop your belly down, send your hips to the sky, lift your chin just slightly. Exhale, pull your belly button to your spine, pull that spine to the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest, tailbone in. Inhale, lengthen, drop that belly. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Keep that going. Three more breaths. Two to go. Last one. Great. Go ahead and drop your elbows down to the mat, right where your palms were. Walk your heels back just slightly. Send your hips to the sky. Bring your forehead all the way down to the mat. You can open your arms wider so you don't have any pain or tension in your shoulders. Make sure we really are tucking those shoulder blades down our back. Think of putting them in your back pocket. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, pull that belly button into your spine. You can stay right here with your forehead down on the mat, or you can send your gaze forward, bringing that chest towards the ground a little bit more. Find what's comfortable for you, what feels right within your body, no straining. With that next inhale, I want you to curl your toes under, and when you're ready, send your knees off the ground, lengthening through your legs here. So you can keep your forehead on the ground or slightly bring it off. Inhaling in. Exhale, lower those knees. Sink your chest down. Do that one more time. Curl those toes under. Send your hips to the sky. Make sure you're keeping those shoulder blades down your spine here. One more big breath in. Exhale, lower those knees. Inhale, send your belly to the ground. Extend those arms out like you're a giant letter T. Bring that right cheek down to the mat. Inhale, pull that left palm into your nose. Send your left toes up to the sky. Exhale, drop them back and behind. Keep that right palm behind you on the floor. Focus on your breath here. Getting a nice stretch through that upper body, through your pec here. Make sure that left elbow's facing the ceiling. You can press firmly into that left palm, rocking your upper body, or you can pull that knee towards the back wall a little bit more. Find what's comfortable for you here. Focus on your breath. Notice where you're holding in tension throughout the rest of your body and just let it go. And if you find an area that you're just like, I don't know how to let it go. <laughs> if you feel that it's tensed up, like right now I want you to tense up your right thigh. Feel it pressing into the ground. Exhale, release it. Feel your leg go limp. Right, so sometimes when we feel that tension, we can focus on the area, tense it up, and then release it. One more big breath here. Exhale, slowly lower that leg, rolling onto your belly. We'll extend that left arm out. Bring that left cheek down. Pull your right hand in when you're ready. Send your right toes to the sky. Drop them back behind. Focusing on your breath here. Do 
big inhale in and out. Again, noticing where you have that tension, and just let it go. It doesn't do anything good for us to hold on to it. And one more big inhale in and exhale. Great job. Slowly roll back onto your belly. We're going to extend our arms out this time. Bring your forehead down to the mat. Inhale, lift your arms, head, chin, chest, belly off the ground. Keep those legs down. Exhale, lower. This time we're going to engage the legs as well. Inhale, lift it all up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, all the way up. Hold it there. Palms down to the ground. And as you exhale, pull your elbows towards that back wall. Inhale, forward. Exhale, pull them back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower it all the way down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, pull those elbows back. Shoulder blades meet in the middle of your spine. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower it all the way down. Great, we're gonna pull our hands in towards our shoulders here. And we're just going to lift our head, chin, and chest. Keep your belly down. Inhale, lifting into cobra. Loop those shoulder blades down your spine. I'm going to tighten through your glutes here so we can make sure we don't compromise our low back. Press the tops of your feet firmly into the floor. Exhale, lower. This time we're going to up dog. Inhale, lengthen through your arms. Bring that head, chin, chest, belly off the ground this time. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Inhaling in. Exhale. Lower it all the way down. Inhale. Lifting all the way up and up, dog. Exhale. Lower. Inhale. We're going to come all the way back up into our tabletop position. You're going to Step your feet all the way through. We're going to work our way slowly into our halfway fold. Not doing anything too crazy tonight. We're just working on some stretching here. So come into that halfway fold. Release your upper body over your lower body. You have a nice bend in your legs here, releasing your low back. Inhaling in and out. Really tuck your chin into your chest here. Inhale, glide your hands up to your calves. Lengthen through your legs, lengthen through your upper body here. Look down past your nose. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Drape your top half over your bottom half. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and bring the tips of your fingers down onto the mat. We're going to step that right foot back. We're going to lower that back knee and uncurl your toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Bring your palms together. Exhale, we're going to turn and connect that right elbow to your left knee. Look over that left shoulder here. Send your weight forward, taking the pressure out of your back knee. Inhaling in and out. We're going to focus on your breath here. Notice if you've got shorter breath and you're lifting through your chest or if you're really feeling your belly press into your thigh here. Inhale, arms back up and overhead. Exhale, bring them down. We're going to curl the back toes under, lift that back knee, step that right foot up to meet your left, forward fold. You can keep those knees with a nice big bend here, or you can lengthen through, getting an extra stretch through the back of your legs. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow. 
heel, sway side to side. And just focus on that breath. Let your head completely relax, opening up through that neck. Inhale back to center, release your arms down. Inhale, glide all the way up into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bring those fingertips onto the ground. We'll step that left foot back this time. Lower that back knee, uncurl your toes. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Palms together. As you exhale, turn and connect to the right side. Look over that right shoulder. You know, send your weight forward, taking the pressure out of that left knee. Focus on your breath here. Really press your palms firmly into one another. Big inhale in, exhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Go ahead and plant those hands down. Curl your back toes under, lift that knee up off the mat. Step that left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees. Draw a giant circle as you stand all the way up, arms up and overhead, slight back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle. Exhale, we're gonna sink it back into chair pose. So bring your hips towards the back wall, send your arms out in front, keep your chest lifted. A nice bend in your knees here. Find what's comfortable for your body. Inhaling in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle. Exhale, step to the center of your mat. Open your legs as wide as you can. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, drop them back behind. You're going to interlace your fingers here. You can create kind of this box with your hands and your wrists if you can't bring those uh, palms in together. Inhale, loop those shoulder blades into the midline. Pull your arms down towards the ground. Knuckles down, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Send your hips to the wall behind you. Keep those shoulders dropping away from your ears. Inhaling in. Exhale, release that bind. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, heel toe your feet in just uh, slightly wider than your hips distance. Bring your palms together out in front, chest lifted. Sink your hips down into a nice deep squat. You can always have your hips slightly higher here. Just keep that chest lifted. Find what's comfortable for your body as we stretch from the top of our head all the way to our toes. Palms together, really press your elbows into your knees here. Chest lifted, inhaling in and out. Bring that left hand down by the left foot. Inhale, open that right arm to the sky. Again, focusing on that breath. Go ahead and bring that right hand to the right foot, left hand to the sky this time. Opening that chest to the ceiling again. We don't want to collapse forward. Inhaling in. Exhale, bring it back down. Bring your fingertips out in front of you. Press into those feet. Send your hips to the sky. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You're going to turn to the right side of your mat this time. I want you to take that left foot right behind your right one. We're going to slowly lower our hips and come all the way down to a seat. 
Legs extended out in front of you. Take a big inhale in, sitting up nice and tall. Palms at your side. Take that right hand to your chin, press it back in space, getting a nice alignment, sitting up even taller here. Big inhale in. And out. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs, catching where it's comfortable. Maybe it's your shins, maybe it's your ankles. In time, you'll get to be flexible enough to reach the bottoms of your feet. Release your head down, loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Inhale, slowly roll all the way back up. We're gonna pull that left heel into your right thigh. Keep your right leg extended, flex those toes. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold over that right leg. Focus on your breath here. Inhale, all the way back up. And we'll switch sides. Pull that right heel into your left thigh. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhaling in. And out. Relax your head down. Inhale, all the way back up. Arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring those hands down to your side. We're going to pull both feet into the midline. Bottoms of the feet together. Inch them as close as you can. You're going to take your hands, interlace your fingers, catching around your toes. Press your elbows into your thighs. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, folding over as much as you can. Just allow the weight of your body to fall forward. Press those elbows into your thighs, opening up a little bit deeper here. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold even deeper yet. You can bring those elbows in front of your legs if you'd like. And just sinking into that fold. Relax your chin down towards your chest. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. I want you to take your hands to your feet. Give yourself a little foot massage here. Take your thumbs to the inner arches and just drag from the bottom of the mat up towards the top of your foot. And you'll we'll massage on the front. Right? Our feet take us through our day and we neglect them so often. So get a little massage here. Onto your heels, right at your ankles. Go ahead and just grab your ankles here. Inhale, look forward, lengthen through that chest. Exhale, sink your spine back. Round your pelvis towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin into your chest. Feel that lengthening from the back of your neck to your tailbone. Inhale, press forward, lengthen. Exhale, round, pull that belly button to the spine, to the back wall. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. From here, we're gonna slowly release our upper body all the way down. You can extend your legs out in front. Reach those arms up and overhead. Big stretch here. Inhaling in. Exhale. Bring those hands back down by your hips. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them a little tug. Lifting you up your tailbone just slightly. Inhaling in. Holding here in the center. Exhale. Release just that left leg down. Take your left hand to the right knee, right palm to the floor. Send your knee over to the left side of your mat and turn your gaze to look over that right shoulder. Try to keep that right shoulder blade down on the mat. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale in, feel your leg lifting just slightly. Exhale, sink into that twist a little bit further. One more breath here. 
Okay, inhale, come back to center, both knees into your chest for a little tug. Find your stillness, release that right leg down, bring that left palm down to the floor, send your knee to the right side of the mat this time, look over that left shoulder, inhaling in, exhale, sinking deeper. We'll stay here for two more breaths. Inhale, back into center. Pull those legs right in. Give them a tug. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. We're going to drop those to the center of our mat. Open your knees as wide as your mat here. Bring your hands right at your hip creases. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, press your palms into your thighs. Feel a little opening in your low back here. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale. Here we go ahead and release. Extend one leg and then the other. Letting your feet fall open as wide as your mat. Bring your hands down to the ground, palms open to the sky. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Big inhale, biggest breath you've taken all day. In. Exhale, twice as long. that breath. And again, if you notice that your thoughts start to run wild, you can start to count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, and four. And as we move into our savasana, I want you to bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, let your eyelashes open and close, and when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll all take a breath there. Inhaling in, and out. Inhale, press yourself up away from the floor. Come into a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall, hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale in and out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your thoughts. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart. 
Take a big inhale in and out. Be kind in your actions. One more big inhale in. Exhale, bow forward. See you in your practice. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Can't believe it's our